Hello everyone. Today we are starting this 5G bite size video series where we will be taking one 5G terminology and try to understand what exactly it is. If you have some 5G background, you may be able to connect the dot and this may act as a refresher. If you are someone who doesn't know what 5G is or how does this architecture looks like, I will still try my level best that at least the terminology that I am explaining in this video, you will be able to understand because I will hide all the complexities. So you may also proceed with this. So that topic for today is what is front hall, mid hall and back hall. So if we look at a typical radio access network side, this is how it looks like where you have your radio unit, which are your antennas. In the past, there used to be a coaxial cable which comes down and there is something called as baseband unit placed and then this is connected to the router. If we break this piece, then we get something like this centralized unit, distributed unit, and the radio unit. Without going into the purpose of what exactly each one of them do. So let's just see what is the advantage that we get when we split these three. For that, there is a very famous concept in networking that uh, I am sure you all have heard, which is software defined networking. And what basically it does, it splits the control plane from the data plane. And then it takes this control plane and shifts somewhere so that this device, which is only meant to forward the packets, get all these instructions from here. That means this is a stupid device. You don't need that intelligence. If there is no brain, if there is no intelligence into this, you can buy it cheaper in the market. That is what is happening even with these splitting of radio functions also. So if I take my CU from here and move it to some place, my DU from the cell side and move it to some other place and then I just leave the radio unit here. So by this split, this part become cheaper and with 5G to have that better coverage, operators need many of them. Right. And if it is cheap, the service providers are more interested to buy it. So that's where there are clearly benefit of this architecture that I am explaining to you. So with this plate, now earlier it was like only just one side which was connected, but now you have split it, but you still need to connect these. Right? So this connection that you are giving between RU and DU is what called as front hall. The connection between DU and CU is called as mid hall. And the CU must be connected somewhere in the back with the service provider core network that is called as back hall. So I hope with this animation, you understand these terms. Now, let's just look at a service provider, typical network architecture and see where exactly this fits in. So you have our cell site, we have access network, aggregation network and core network, and finally our data center. This is how at a very high 30 or 50,000 feet view, your service provider network 
looks like then if you have everything here my cudu combined vpu ru on single side then as i explained this need a connection to the sp core right ignore the upf for now this is backhaul but if i split these cu and du and only keep my ru here like in this case then this become my front hall where ru is connected to cu and du and then this become my back hall well as we saw in the previous slide there is a, another level of optimization that can be done where we can split even cu and du as well so that now we have front hall and if we split cu and du we need to connect them that is mid hall and then this is back hall right. so i hope you understand this terminology this video was useful feel free to share it with your friends and i would like to say thanks a lot for your time watching this video thank you